Conseco Fieldhouse in Indianapolis was becoming a very familiar place for a Penn State basketball team that was looking for its third win there in as many days and a chance to play in the Big Ten title game. We just got to play hard and match their physicality and we're going to win this game. Family on three, one, two, three. Man. Penn State and Michigan State split two games during the regular season, each team winning at home. But the third time on a neutral court would be the most important, with each looking to be chosen for the big dance. Penn State and Michigan State. So they're playing their third game in three days. But for Penn State, they've got to be good at the defensive end. Here's a three from the corner. That's another wide open shot. All net for yeah. summer. The Nittany Lions had a rough start and were down 10 before they knew it. Coach Ed DeCellis would keep them calm and later remarked that the impressive thing was they took a punch and then started to deliver some back. Penn State trying to find a way to get back to the NCAA tournament for the first time in 10 years. Shot off the glass and it's a good one. Jermaine Marshall, freshman. From behind, stolen again. That was Brooks who reached in. Up ahead for Frazier's. Now has 11 of the Denny Lions, 21. Yeah, he's had a terrific first half so far. They've got size on this team, this Michigan State team. Left on Lucas, he jump step, lays it up, and in the Nittany Lions take the lead. Battle, this will be a deep one. Battle to his left. That's battle to beat the shot clock with a beautiful three. And they rely on their big shot maker to beat you if it's close. Inside, that's picks Rob in the far corner. Now they go inside to Jones to Jackson who drives and traffic lays it up and in. Oh, what a shot. Taylor Battle had more where that came from and would score 14 straight Penn State points. Before he was finished, his six three-pointers moved them into a second place tie on Penn State's all-time list, taking the life out of the Spartans. That's that's oh, man. Man. This kid can hit some shots. Again, battle, tough shot right over Lucas. Unbelievable. He's got 20 now for the game, 12 already in this half. While you almost expect a senior like Battle to step up, sophomore Tim Frazier was right there with him. He had a career high 22. The backcourt duo provided a glimpse of Penn State's past and future and a sweet bit of the present. They have knocked away six shots of the game, matching the team season high. But they were resilient and they were brilliant in the second half. Head to Chellis, you're taking Penn State to a Big Ten title game for the first time ever. The most impressive thing to me was they came out and threw a punch at us. You know, we took it, we rallied back, you fought back, got us right back into the thing at halftime. We're prime time, we did in our afternoon. Let's go show people all we're playing. Yeah. And on the fourth day, number one seed Ohio State was waiting. The Nittany Lions were not intimidated. They had lost to the Buckeyes twice in the regular season, but took them down to the final seconds in their own building in Columbus. Few gave the Lions a chance, but they held their own until the second half, when playing their fourth game in four days took its toll. While they would not win the Big Ten title, they gained something else on this selection Sunday. Here's Penn State's tournament profile. Penn State, recent impressions, very strong. Some quality wins there. Will what they've done be enough to distinguish them from four or five other teams? College teams and fans have gathered from coast to coast to see where they'll go, whom they will play, and in some instances, if they're going to be playing at all, if they get an invitation. And the NCAA Basketball Championship Selection Show continues. 25 and 7 on the year, coached by Fran Dunphy, sitting around and celebrating. Say, Coach, 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 Coach,
is important for all our seniors. They've worked extremely hard, not only in the games, and, uh, but they've worked extremely hard in the offseason. I just want to be the best player that I can be. I want to make the attorney, make some noise. You know, we finally got here, you know, and um, why stop now? Just, just try to continue on. You know, I kept getting all the questions about, you know, how about, you know, T, maybe you'll leave here as the best player ever and you never made the NCAA tournament. You know, but now no one can say that, you know, because, you know, us five seniors, we did it. They're all going to graduate. They've all been uh, great kids for our program and great ambassadors to, to our university. It's very fitting that uh, they, get, they all get the opportunity to play in, in the tournament. Hey!